Welcome back to the Pepper Palace and the Hydroponic Playland. This update will show the non-circulating BA Crack Kite modeled hydroponics with 27 gallon totes for a fill and forget style of hydroponic growing. As you can tell from this video, the peppers have grown immensely since the last update. Several are producing pods. And leaf canopies are expanding as well. Outside the greenhouse, the 18 gallon red totes are also doing well. Pepper production has been very prolific. And pepper growth has been substantial as well. These totes are smaller because the peppers were smaller when they were started as opposed to the ones in the greenhouse, which began in December of 2015. This is a Thai dragon, which is absolutely loaded with pods. And while hard to see, this orange habanero has literally dozens of pods hanging primarily underneath the leaf canopy. Even this honeydew melon is doing quite well in the 40 gallon non-circulating tote that it's growing in. It currently has one melon that's nearing completion, as well as two early melons, which will begin forming in the next few weeks. This ghost pepper growing in a 32 gallon container has several pods hanging underneath the leaf canopy and beside it. In this 32 gallon container, you'll find a butch tea scorpion pepper, which has several red pods at the moment. Even tomato production has been substantial in the five gallon buckets, which are connected to a non circulating float valve fed off a 32 gallon trash can using an alternative form of the BA Cracky modeled hydroponic method. And contrary to some reports that the crack key model is not appropriate for larger tomatoes, this bush champion determinate tomato has produced in the neighborhood of 25 to 27 tomatoes, which are all of slicing quality and quite capable of slicing and covering a, sl a slice of bread for a sandwich or a hamburger bun as they mature. Even the peppermint and basil plants are thriving in this environment. While this determinate tumbler hybrid tomato is nearing the end of its lifespan, you can see the number of red tomatoes is substantial still even after picking. 